Hello Virgo Salt Intuition Tarot. We're going to take a look at your current situation. We're going to get your thoughts, their thoughts, what's going on in between y'all, and maybe hopefully unravel what we need to know for your highest good. Don't forget to like, share, comment, as well as subscribe, and I appreciate y'all spending time listening to my tarot stories. So here we go Virgo. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So the first card out is how you're feeling. And that is the King of Pentacles in reverse. So right now you could be feeling like uh, you're insecure or could be just being stubborn. We're going to find out why that is in a moment. How they feel is the Ten of Wands. They feeling like a, maybe this is the end of the road. And we don't know what got them there yet, but we will figure it out. Feeling like a, this is reaching the end. So what is the conflict in between y'all? The conflict is the Queen of Swords. When the Queen of Swords comes in, she's uh, cutting out people, placing things that no longer serve her. Um, setting up boundaries, being guarded, very perceptive though, so that is the problem, the boundaries that was set up between y'all or what was crossed, okay, we're going to clarify the king of pentacles, why are you feeling the way you are, why is this here, why is the king of pentacles in reverse, and we have the hermit, because you have went you went all the way in. So you're going in. You're trying to figure out answers. Trying to get clarity on the situation. Which causes you to appear that you are closed off from the situation. That you, um, you know, just feel like this situation doesn't make me feel secure. I want to know why. So what did you find out, Virgo? So what did you find out? So you found out five of cups. So you uh, feel a sense of loss. You're looking, you know, towards the future with this person. You uh, didn't think things would turn out this way, and you're just feeling at a loss. We're going to find out why the Queen of Swords is here. The Sun. Putting boundaries up, getting what you want, getting what, what you know, what makes you happy, and that's the whole, whole thing in between y'all. Uh, just searching for what makes you happy, and what doesn't make you happy, and why are the ten of wands here for your person? Feeling uh, like it, something needs to end. We'll figure out what they feel like needs to end. May not be the relationship. The devil. So what needs to end is uh, something that gets in the way. Anything that gets in the way of y'all having a relationship. Could be time. Could be, you know, money. Could be other people. We're going to keep going. Why is the devil here? Why is the devil here for Virgo's person? Why is the devil here? The devil here is the nine of cups. Followed by the Ace of Pentacles. Want to get your wishes fulfilled without the uh, any type of uh, obstacle. But there are always going to be obstacles in relationships. You, you just got to go with the flow. You got to figure out why is this person unable to find a way. Woo. Because they don't know what direction they want to go in. They know what they want, but they're not revealing their true feelings about the situation and their needs. So how could they possibly ever get them met if they're not ever talking about it? There is the Hierophant here. This is wanting to do things traditionally, but they never said that. They're not letting it out. Uh, they're expecting, I don't know, you to do all the dirty work for them, I reckon. 
So what were their expectations? What was this person's expectations with you, Virgo? What was their expectations? What did they expect? What were they expecting? What did they expect from you? What they expected was... Uh, You know, not having any competition, not having anything getting in the way, not allowing it, you know, you was not going to allow anything to stop you from getting to them, making them a number one priority and coming in and, and um, making things work with them. Not letting all these other things get in the way of it, which, it, you know, if other people, other situations start getting in the way, what are you supposed to do? So what you decided to do. What did you decide to do? The tower. This was not going in the direction that you thought it should go in. So you had to make some you had to make a call. There was a shake up, break up. We're gonna find out what happened with the tower. Why is the tower here? Why is the tower here? Because the stability of the foundation, the people had different wants and needs. Their thoughts of what a uh, firm foundation looked like was not there. It looks like that uh, somebody disconnected. You know, somebody just disconnected from the connection. So, looks like it was them that disconnected. Because they were letting other situations get in the way of y'all's happiness. So you had to make it the call, Virgo. So how they feel about the situation now? How are they feeling about the situation right now? How are they feeling about the situation right now? What are their thoughts and feelings? Nine of Swords, they regret it. They have many regrets. This person uh, feels like uh, they uh, too many things was left unsaid, undone. Why did they not open up? They're afraid they doomed it from the gate, you know. They feel unsuccessful. They feel like they can't make anybody happy. So why would they even try to get in a relationship to begin with? And always looking for a way out. So this is definitely their problem. It's a person that uh, says they want a relationship, longs for it, goes and finds somebody to be in a relationship with them. And when they do, they doom it by the way they think and trying to figure out a way to get out of it. And then regretting it later. So it looks like you dodged a bullet. Virgo, you dodged a bullet. So let's see what's coming up in the future for you. Let's get all this out. We're done with that. So what's coming up for the future for you? We need the good things. Five of Swords. What's the Five of Swords here? Five of Swords. Feeling like you were deceived, but having the strength to get over that. You're gonna you're gonna find a strength. Hey, I may be deceived, but look, I can still wish for anything I want. Keep your hopes up. You're keeping your hopes up, spirits up. What you hope for is gonna lead you on the right road, the right path to get what you want for your future. You're looking towards the future, ready to, for the next step. You're not gonna wait on uh, nobody. Okay, this didn't work out. Guess what? There's other chances with other things and other people. If you choose to go on, you have a open, you know, a real start. These come out again. Don't let the devil get in the, your way of your happiness. Don't let anybody uh, get in the way of you going out and finding your happiness. If you can't get your happiness and they want to do some foolish shit, then you get out with the Ten of Wands. You just nip it in the bud right away. And I see that's what you'll be doing in the weeks to come. We're not taking that into uh, 2023. This is all about releasing things and getting people and things out of your life that 
don't jive with you anymore. Nobody has time for it anymore. We're just that's what we're doing as a collective. And so I wish you the best of luck, Virgo, and I see that you're on the right path. 